My name is Jimmy, his name is Jake, and this is the Weekly Dumb. Middle camera. Good. One, two, three. The love affair happening between cousins, center of the table. Gross. And, uh, and his nephew. How are you? Jim, it's not about me, unfortunately. You're in it, man. You got a vacation coming up. Your car got stolen. How I'm you on doing? vacation right now as they watch this. Ba, 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 so ba, hopefully ba. I'm doing really good. Playing on the little kids' water park yes. slide. Shoving kids down slides, not catching them. Which one's this? Oh, oh is yours guy? Here, here's this guy. <laughs> Squeeze him. James is going to beat some kids up. That's my goal. I want him to dominate the like three-year-old water slide place as a one-year-old. Three-year-old. Well, he's one, but I, I want him to dominate all three-year-olds. I had goals, man. Well, he Be beats, he beats up his cousins already. He's, he's a lunatic. Your cousins are soft. <laughs> <gasps> Let's talk about the sports. What do you got? Jim, huge games this weekend. Let's talk about what's important. Guardians manager Terry Francona. We met him. Blah, blah, blah. Jimmy, how you doing? Terry Francona had his scooter stolen and you're more sus than a bus on this. Yeah, the story's good. The video's good. The the police give him his It's all good. The, the police give him his scooter back. If you don't know, he rides his scooter everywhere. He rides it from his apartment to the stadium the games, on yeah. game days. I like that. So you can see him. There's clips of him having it there on the field Terry. before the game and stuff. Because yeah. Terry Francona has no rules, and that's fair. No rules, and that's fair. He shouldn't. He left it uh, outside his apartment while he was gone or something. He came back for a uh, fan fest. And said, oh, where's my scooter? And, my scooter. and uh, the cops were like, we'll find it. Right. And then found it rather quick. Oh. Feels a lot like this. You know, you say I got towed recently. Feels a lot like right. Cleveland police did not realize whose scooter they saw outside of an apartment and just locked right. it up. They're like, oh, yeah, we found it in some homeless park and it was cleaner. Okay. The cops were putting that up at auction. Yeah. And you realize, oh, shit. Hey, Joe, that scooter you took in last. Yeah. It was that. Oh, Ooh. man. There's been no arrests made. No what? Uh, it's cleaner. They just deliver it and it happened like that. Maybe it's maybe it was like a rookie initiation, like, oh, you're a cop. Why don't you steal that scooter? You're a cop, yeah, yeah, kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You stole Terry Francona's scooter? That's like the most valuable asset in Cleveland. He loves that scooter. He loves that scooter. <laughs> Jim, what's this almost a breakdown that's going through the streets? Another uh, spin on a story. The the headline here is Man struggles to lift stolen gorilla statue into pickup truck. And if you watch the video, yes. he pulls up his pickup truck. He gets out. Nice he's, truck. he's wearing a mask. He's wearing gloves. He's on a caper. He's a thief. On caper? A, a caper? Isn't that like a heist? I think those are like on French dishes. Two different things. Nice. And he's got cutters so he cuts the gorilla free because the gorilla was chained cutters and then he picks up the gorilla also two terms cutter pitch yeah cutter people that cut in line cutters puts the gorilla into the truck bed and he kind of gently like twists it lays it down make sure the head doesn't get hit he didn't struggle at all yeah in his head executed it perfectly. in his head he executed this perfectly and yeah. i think that's how the police are trying to track him down right they make the headline man struggles this guy's not going to stay silent right he's going to be like I didn't struggle at all. Right. Gotcha. Going to some of the local brew pubs. Local brew pubs. He's telling people in there, yeah. yeah. That's police work one-on-one. I didn't <laughs> struggle. Found a dead body. Yeah, the guy uh, cut off all the hair. It looks like he uh, also sneezed on the body. And then the, the murderer's like, I didn't sneeze on no body. And the, where it got- Arrested. Is that hair? Where it got me was, it looked like there was going to be a struggle because he flips the gorilla. And I thought he was going to do the like, flop it in the bed of the truck. And the truck does the like, <laughs> he just lets it down gently no struggle from this man better down gently what's he doing with that gorilla statue can we get back to the sports shake and let's keep it baseball related yeah it's a big baseball left football there's only one more game left Ooh. one of the best closers in baseball history arkansas state for a year maybe colin stone who's a big warehouse competitor for us stoner one you may know his uniform team mac flurry power we brought him back to do a challenge he hit 103 on the gun from 50, 48 feet, which the math comes out to about buck 20. 45 to the actual home plate, 47 yeah. feet to the strike zone. Yeah, it's like a buck 20, 120 mile per hour reaction time. And we did, and people chime in. These balls move a lot. You saw it already pop out of my hand. From that distance, Not moving that a lot. your hand. 
We didn't make a lot of contact. Joe's McFly accidentally did, and he three won. Three times. And people are wondering if he's dog shit or not. He did three times he made contact. Yeah. It was pretty scary. The first pitch to Kenobio. Scared for where we are. Oh! <laughs> That's scary. We had some people in the comments that kind of called us losers, and we're not. Mm -hmm. So why don't you take that with you? Point counterpoint. Man, Colin's pitches were so hard and curvy like your Roman wiener. Go to Roman. Thanks, Roman, for curving it up. The not sports is exciting, Jake, but you don't like this story. It's an animal story, an animal that I don't think the animal is suffering. So according to the story, this raccoon... You don't think the animal's suffering? This raccoon had its testicles uh, frozen to a railroad track and was just sitting there staring at the oncoming trains. Like, oh, boy, tried tugging at its nuts and they were frozen. And then uh, these two humans came along and they said, I poured water under his bottom. While a coworker worked the shovel under his butt. He jumped off the rail, ran in the woods, never looked back. So the not grateful, the raccoon, for being right. saved. So I was wondering if this was some kind of kinky role play that the raccoon was doing with another raccoon, kind of damsel in distress situation, and the humans just <laughs> ruined it. So you missed the guy's name that saved the raccoon. It was obviously Neil Mullis. Rate that name. Three, Wait, two, hold on. Neil Mullis. Three, two, one, two, two and a half. Yeah, yeah, that's not great. Neil's funny at the end of the day. Mullis, I mean, almost a zero. If your first name's Neil, your last name has to do a lot of the it heavy can't lifting. can't be Mullis. Yeah. My God. Mr. Mullis sounds like You go save raccoons teacher. at the railroad track if you're Neil Mullis. This guy put him there. You think Neil Mullis stuck that what raccoon's... What was the raccoon doing to get his nuts stuck? that raccoon's gonads. You think he was just peeing all over his balls on the railroad track? It yeah. It was hot. He was just trying to test out the cold temperature on his Maybe he nuts. went swimming. Swimming? It was negative 12 degrees. Like he had a sip of water and then like he pivoted and his balls clipped the water on the way out. Relatable. <laughs> Employee of the week. First timer? I'm not sure. Maybe. Maybe. Amanda Hernandez. Amanda on the sales team brought in a big deal. Not like. Something what you've been asking and chasing. Not like a big sale. No, not like. Sale. Like, no, oh, no. you saved the company and yeah, we yeah, can yeah. pay these people now. Like, maybe. no, something cool. Hit tracks. Leap. Who, 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 who hit the ball the hardest? Now we'll know and now we'll see. And better times for you and me. Enjoy therapy. Hello. That was a weekly dumb. Today's episode was brought to you by Roman. Valentine's Day is coming up, and if you want to have better sex, you got to go to Roman because Roman addresses a variety of sexual needs for men. They can help you last four times longer in bed with their swipes. They have medicine. That helps achieve and maintain a stronger erection, okay? You got low testosterone, they can help with that. Up your sex drive. Once you have that sex drive up, now you can use it properly. To get ready, Roman ready, for better sex this Valentine's Day, go to row.co slash johnboy today to get 20% off your first order. Do it by February 8th for guaranteed shipping in time. That's ro.co slash johnboy. He thanked all the police officers. He revved it. He's like, oh, that power. Do that power. <laughs> and then he takes this, this brief pause and he nods and then says, good to be back in business. Back in business. <laughs> and then drives away. But because it's a scooter, not a motorcycle, he has to like use his feet. <laughs> so he well, does like a little kick pedal like uh, Fred start. Flintstone. Yeah. It, that made me laugh. I like that too. <sighs> Yay. Another show in the box. Now that we did it.